to Moo Moo Math and Science, where we upload a new math or science video every day. In this video, I'd like to talk about some measurement conversions. And let me go through the steps to completing it, and then I'll work three examples. First, you set up a labeled proportion using the number from the problem and the conversion factor, which is given to you. Then you cross multiply and divide. So let's look at one example, and I'll work through it. It says the length of the cafeteria is 38 meters long, so we have 38 meters here, and how long is the cafeteria in centimeters, okay? And it says that we have 100 centimeters equal 1 meter. So let's first set up uh, a proportion with what is given. And so I'm going to put 1 meter over equals 100 centimeters. Now, should you put centimeters on top or meters on the bottom? It really does not matter as long as your units are the same on both sides. So what I mean by that is this must be meters and this must be centimeters. Okay, so it doesn't matter um, which is on top as long as it is consistent on both sides. Meter, meter, centimeter, centimeter. Now, let's fill in the blank. It says we have 38 meters and it's asking for centimeters, so this will be our x. So now we cross, do a cross product, and let me move that up. Sorry about that. Okay. And now we have 38 times 100 is 3,800 equals 1 times x is 1x. And technically, you would just divide each side by 1, so x is equal to... 3,800, and what's my unit of measure? That is centimeters, okay? 3,800 centimeters. Now, let's work another example here. It says that Lauren's dog, Ruby, is a yellow lab. She weighs 72 pounds. How many ounces does she weigh? And one pound is equal to 16 ounces. So, I'm going to put, this time, I'll, uh, I'll put 16 ounces on top is equal to one pound. And remember the rule is that you put the same units on each side. So this is ounces and this is pound. Okay, and now I fill in what is given and we are given pounds, 72 pounds, and we're looking for ounces, so that will be our X. Okay, so now we do a cross product 72 times 16, I'll write that out. 72 times 16 is equal to 1x. Okay, 72 times 16 is 1152 is equal to 1x. And then you would divide each side by 1. So x is equal to 1152. And what is our unit of measure? That is ounces. Okay. Now, let's work the last one, and I'm going to show you that it doesn't matter which unit you put on top. It says, how many quarts are in 3.5 gallons? One gallon is equal to four quarts. So I'm going to set it first. I'm going to set it up like one gallon is equal to four quarts is equal to, remember, I'm going to put gallons here. I'm going to put quarts here here okay and now I plug in what is given I have 3.5 gallons over 1 I do a cross product 3.5 times 4 is 14 and uh, excuse me this would be quarts would be X that's what I'm looking for sorry and then that would be 1x so x is equal to 14 okay now, if we set it up the other way, if we go 4 over 1 is equal to, so this would be quarts, this would be gallons. So now I would have gallons here, quarts there. And if you, I then fill in the blank, I have gallons here, x here. 4 times 3.5 is 14. And then this is x is equal to 14. So once again, I showed you that. Uh, either way that you set it up, as long as you put the units the same on both sides, 
then you'll get the correct answer. Now, the 14, what does that represent? That is the number of quarts. And I'll put this right there. Anyway, I hope that helps with conversions. Thanks for watching. Moo Moo Math and Science uploads a new math video every day.